So how do we convert negative 5 pi over 12 radians uh, into degrees? How do we do that? Well, first thing is we want to start with the known relationship. And we know that there are pi radians in or are equivalent to 180 degrees. Once I have a known relationship between the two, that's all I really need in order to do my conversion. All right. I now start and I write down the given value here of negative 5 pi over 12 radians. Now this unit I'm just going to put up here in the numerator. It's equivalent if it's next to or in the numerator. And then what I need to do, and I need to realize here that I want my answer in terms of degrees. I don't want radians in my answer. And therefore I have to figure out, well, how do I cancel the unit of radians? Well, that's where this comes into play, ladies and gentlemen. What you're going to do is you're going to take that known radian measurement, the known proportional value, and you're going to take it and literally go boop, plug it in in the denominator. Why the denominator? Because you want the radians to cancel. What do you then have to plug into the numerator? You have to plug in the other part of the known conversion value in the numerator. Notice the degrees will not cancel, and the unit in your answer will be in terms of degrees. The problem is basically finished. All you have to now do is just simplify some stuff. Notice the pi's will cancel as well. right? What about the 12 and what about the 180? Does 12 go into 180? Well, take out the calculator and check it out, right? It does. 12 goes into 180 15 times. So you know what this whole thing simplifies down to? It simplifies down to literally negative 5 times and 15 degrees. And what does that work out to be? That works out to be negative 75 degrees. That's the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helps. Please subscribe if you can. Hit the like button. It really helps us out tremendously. Um, we so much appreciate it. And check out some more of our videos, not only pre-calculus, but if you're taking chemistry or physics, we've got a whole bunch of solved problems out there for you guys. All right. We use the OpenStax textbooks and they're totally free. Go to their website, OpenStax, O-P-E-N-S-T-A-X.com and download the textbooks. They're totally free. All right. And we solve specific problems. So even if you're not using that textbook, guess what? The problems are all basically all the same. So we can solve your specific questions. Thank you very much.